Hey guys, um, today I'm just going to do a video about, um, um, a review video about this, um, Clean and Clear Morning Burst in Shower Facial. So, um, I really, I like this. I like this a lot. And what you do with this is that while you're in the shower, it works with the steam of your shower. So you like, um, take some and you apply it to your face. You just apply it, you don't massage it in. And after about three minutes, I believe, um, yeah, after one minute, one minute um, of letting it sit, then you start to massage it in and it activates the beads and makes it unclog your pores. Um, you're supposed to use it once to three times a week. I use it twice a week. Um, the only thing I don't really like about it is that um, it uh, it increases this your face's sensitivity to the sun, and I hate that because I already I wear sunscreen every day all year round. I wear it in the winter because I heard from it, my dermatologist told me that um, in the winter your um, the sun is even stronger than in the summer because it it bounces off the snow and it's really, really strong and damaging to your skin. So I started wearing it in the winter, and then in the fall I wear it in the um, spring, and obviously in the summer. Um, and my skin is really um, sensitive to the sun. Is I had show you before once, I think, on, um, I have like some little sun spots on my face, and I hate it, but it was, I think I get them because like, like a month ago, I had not, I had gone out with my friends to Six Flags and I put a little bit on um, once and then um, I got a ton that day. And now they're just starting to like leave, but there's some that are still there. And I'm just um, trying to protect my skin as much as possible. Anyway, back to this. I like completely trailed off. Um, what I like about this is once, like, after you've, like, washed it away, it really gives your skin, like, a tingle, a burst, which is really nice. Like, it's, um, just a little tingle on your skin, it's a little orangey tingle, and it smells like orange, and the beads are tiny, like, ultra tiny, like, I can, I can't even see them on here, so you guys probably wouldn't even be able to see them on camera. Let me show you. Yeah, you can see them. They're really, really small. They're very tiny. And, um, and, um, I really like that about it. And also, um, and this is gonna sound kind of nasty, but it kind of like levels them up. Like, there was like a blackhead on my nose that was like disgusting. And it like, it was like there. It was like sitting there and it was like completely closed off. After that, after the facial, I like took some a, a little bit of um, toilet paper or facial paper, which is tissue paper, and I just kind of squeezed gently, and it came out. And that sounds nasty, but it makes it easier to extract on um, extract blackheads, which is good sometimes if you protect your skin um, and know how to do it properly. Um, when I was getting a facial, I asked. Um, this lady how I could extract like my pimples without like making it going farther and she's like don't even try but I, you can try on blackheads because it's easier with blackheads whatever whatever and sh so she taught me how and I never really bothered ex until I started using this because it really levels like all the dirt up so you can extract it um anyway so I really like this product um it's definitely a good product, and I don't use it every single time I shower. I use it, like like I said before, like twice a week. So, and I don't even, I don't shower every day because I have curly hair, and curly hair tends to dry out, it tends to be dry. So I shower every other day, and my hairstylist is all like, that's still really a lot to be showering, like, if you... After like two days, I feel like disgusting of like not showering. So I, I couldn't go like more than that because I just feel like a, like sick. 
And um, anyway, so yeah, thank you for watching, guys. Bye.